What is up, Mr. Nalen? Now, there has been something going on, and you and me need to work together. I also need your team. What do you say? Something's going on. Okay? So, Bobo talking to Nalen. Something's going on. I don't know what's going on. He didn't, he wasn't specific about that, but, uh, whatever. But, anyway, um, we're starting off tonight with Gaston. Gaston is here. And he will be, be assembling a team against Big Baby. Uh, this is Ken Chrysler speaking, and welcome to CTL. Um, the, the subscriber show. Uh, Gaston heading down to the ring uh, right now. Last week, him and Ronnie, were uh, the who now is the uh, McDonald's champion, were both attacked uh, by the big baby. I don't know why they, uh, the big baby targeted them, uh, but Gaston is going to assemble a team tonight against the big baby's team. So we'll see who wins this matchup. It's going to be very interesting. I can already tell. Um, and also we have two Fatal 4-Way matches, and we also have a number one contendership for the McDonald's Championship tonight. Our Fatal 4-Ways keep on continuing. Uh, we got, uh, two out of eight members for that match, and of course here comes Mewtwo. He was made by a subscriber, by the way, who did a phenomenal job. I don't know if it's the same guy that always does Mewtwo. Uh, but he did a wonderful job. Um, and he will be teaming up with Gaston tonight. And let's see who else Gaston uh, has with him. Uh, this is our first community creation match. Uh, we have not had a community creation match as of last week. There was some managers. And here comes Luke Cage. These guys are part of the roster as well. And we, they at least need one match a week. And here comes Luke Cage. Um, he's got a show coming out in June. We're not trying to promote him, but he 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 asked for the favor. So uh, we, we he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He deserves it. Uh, but anyway, and we're about to meet the fourth member of this team. Luke Cage is the third. So and Doritos. Here comes the Dorito Man. Um, I don't I don't know anything about this guy. I just know he looks like a human version of a bag of Doritos. That's all we know about this guy. He just joined the roster. Uh, he he just looked like Doritos, and they hired him. So I I don't know what what the deal is there. And we're about to meet Team Big Baby. And uh-oh, here they come. And Gaston definitely wants to beat the baby tonight. Ronnie will not be participating in a match. We might see him later. Uh, um, when he congratulates his number one contender. Uh, later tonight. But we will not see him in action tonight. And uh-oh. And here comes this whiny cry baby. Who wears Huggies, by the way. And here he is. Oh my goodness, he's humongous. But who does he have with him on the team? Is the question. I don't know if this baby has conscious. If he's aware of what he's doing is wrong. Attacking Ronnie. Attacking Gaston. Um, I don't know. He just seems to. Want to attack everyone. I don't know why. We're about to meet one of his teammates. And it is Jaws. This guy was actually downloaded. On an accident. Uh, so therefore. Uh, he's on the roster. <laughs> uh, Jaws is a James Bond villain. Um, his teeth are really crazy looking, but someone wanted him off of Community Creations, and uh, 
and um, they were talking about somebody else. But he got he he made the list, so he got the job. Uh, accidentally, I've never seen uh, a superstar accidentally get a job, but it happens. <laughs> He definitely has calcium deficiency. Um, and here comes, oh man. Oh no, it's the PC principle. Oh my goodness, I gotta watch out what I say here. I, I could offend him. And uh, the, the PC principle is coming. He's on Team Big Baby as well. Look at him, already attacking the fans. And we're about to meet the fourth competitor. Sorry about the long entrances, guys, but I thought it was necessary for this one. And who is the fourth person here? Who is the fourth person that Big Baby has? Oh, no! Gaston, run for the hills! You're about to meet another beast. And it is not the one that took your girlfriend. <laughs> this one will take your life. Um, and look here. Oh, man. Here comes the Juggernaut. One of our best Royal Rumble competitors ever. Period. Hands down. One of the best. And now we... This is a first finisher match, by the way. And here we go. And Gaston... Uh, going at right after the big baby. Look at the punches to the back of the baby's head. It's kind of abusive if you ask me. Oh man, look at big baby. Oh man, what a slam. And Gaston with a kick to the back of the leg. A nice move there. Here comes Luke Cage. And look at Luke with the big slam there. Luke Cage going to work on the baby. And uh -oh, here comes the tag to Jaws. And we're finally going to get to see Jaws in action here tonight. Oh man, so much for that. Luke Cage is doing it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. He's strangling Jaws or something. <laughs> and uh oh. Jaws is pretty powerful though. He's a big dude. Look at Luke Cage. Oh man. What a big slam there. If I've ever seen one. Oh man, punch right there. Then Luke Cage with a strike to the back of the head on Jaws. It is not looking good for this team. As Cage continues his uh, ruthless aggression.
Oh man, goodness, stepping on his fingers! What? Okay, I don't like Big Baby, but that that is too far there. You know, Jaws, Jaws is this is bad. <laughs> of course, Cage is just uh, just annihilating him. And oh, look there, reversal by Jaws. And oh man. Stepping on the man's fingers, and here comes Gaston. Look here, Gaston, going to work, going to work. And uh, look here, oh, another nice move there. A nice signature locked in. All he needs is a finisher and Jaws is done. But uh, instead, he looks like he's... Oh, man. He's trying to get a tag, maybe. I don't know. And Gaston stuck in a glitch. Oh, no. And he keeps on running, but there's nowhere to run. Oh, no. Oh, look here. Oh! Jaws takes advantage, but Gaston with the reversal. Look at this. Oh, man, what a nice move. And Jaws trying and somehow gets the tag, and here comes the baby. Big baby is here. Oh, man. And once again, Gaston and the big baby meet. And Gaston, once again, uh, got caught in a glitch. And no, he got out of it. That's good. And I, uh, oh man, this does not look good for the baby here. Oh my goodness. Oh man. He's had enough of that baby. <laughs> and an elbow. And Gaston has eliminated the big baby, so he gets his revenge tonight. And here comes Jaws, though. Jaws is ticked off, you can tell. I mean, Luke Cage stepped on the man's fingers. That was unnecessary. He could have did a, a hundred thousand moves, and he chooses to step on the man's fingers. That is a severe injury. Your fingers get broken like that. And Gaston eliminates another one. Jaws is eliminated. And Gaston's on fire. He's had enough. He's ticked off. <laughs> and now he's going after the PC principal. Tags in Luke Cage here. Here comes Luke. And uh-oh. Uh, look at the PC principal. He, he's very offended right now that... Um, that uh, the, babies, the baby and uh, Jaws have been eliminated. And, uh, oh man, Luke Cage there, and this team has been miraculous tonight. Oh, don't tell me, Luke Cage stepped on more fingers. This is unnecessary. Quit stepping on people's fingers. <laughs> it's wrong. I don't care how mean they are. <laughs> they don't deserve that. Stepping on people's fingers, and look at Luke Cage. Bam. Shot to the chest. Look here. Oh man, tried to do a, a headbutt, I guess, but it did not work out at all for uh, Luke. And PC Principal takes advantage of that. Oh man, and PC Principal kicks Luke Cage in the head. I don't know if he... Oh, man, look at Luke, though. He's not going to have it. And uh, is he going to go for... Yeah, here comes Doritos. The nacho... Um, oh, this is regular flavor, not Cool Ranch. They. I wonder if Cool Ranch is around. Maybe they could have a tag team. And 
And PC Principal going after the Doritos now. And Mewtwo getting tagged in. And look at PC Principal. He's had enough. And look at Doritos. Sticking his foot down. Knocking the PC Principal. I guess the PC Principal doesn't want kids. Oh, look. The oh, man. And, and that was. The oh, man. He's bad. <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> he knocked them both out. <laughs> He, you know, one stepped on his fingers, the other one stepped on him, so uh, he's a little ticked off. That was funny. And uh, it's two to four now. Gaston's team is winning, but the Juggernaut hasn't even came in yet. So, And Mewtwo eliminates PC Principal. We are down to one. This might be a sweep. But Juggernaut's the last man remaining. And look at Mewtwo trying to knock him down. It's not working, though. He's going to have to try harder than that. This might not be a good idea right here, trying to move the Juggernaut. That's never a good idea. Oh, man. Look at the... What is he doing? Well, I guess he's taking another way. That's all I can say. I mean... Oh, look here. Coming up from behind. Mewtwo does not expect it. And look at him go on Mewtwo's head. Oh my goodness. Beating the tar out of him. Look at this. And he is one of the most aggressive superstars. For sure. On this roster. And look at Mewtwo fighting him. This might be the same guy that made Mewtwo. I'm not for sure, but the, I mean, he's he's famous for making the past Mewtwo's because it does he does have the same move set. He has the same entrance, but or it could be someone that just saw that and uh, did it. But I, I'm not for sure. It looks like the same person because a lot of is inspired by the same. And um, uh oh, look at the Juggernaut here! Oh my goodness! Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Step. Ew. And you two fighting back. And here comes the juggernaut. Oh my goodness, what an elimination. The Mewtwo's eliminated. Juggernaut got one point for his team. And now he's got to deal with Luke Cage. Look at this. Luke Cage can take him. Look at that. Suplex City. Oh, I don't know what this is. And maybe not. That's a real different move than I've seen before. I mean, very effective move. And Juggernaut, look here. Close line on Luke Cage. Close line right back to you. Look at Juggernaut go. Oh, man. Look at this. It's nothing but abuse at this point. And look here. Oh, my goodness. Luke Cage eliminated. Could Juggernaut pull off another incredible win here tonight? He's already going after the Doritos. Oh, man. 
And Juggernaut going right after the Doritos. And uh, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job at it. Look here. Oh, my goodness. Could he, could he make a sweep at the end? I mean, Gaston is still alive, but Doritos is not looking good at all. He is not looking good. And look here. Oh, man. And look at Doritos. Did Doritos defeat the Juggernaut is the question. And here comes Gaston. And look here. They gotta use teamwork to, de to defeat this guy. I'm telling you. They gotta use good teamwork. And they kick to the back. Oh man, need the head. And uh oh, Gaston. Look at this. Oh no. And that was, his, I believe that was a signature. Uh-oh, and Gaston is about to go for a kick, and he does it. Team Gaston wins. They defeat the big baby team. What a phenomenal performance by Gaston and company. Yes, yes. And big baby's team has been defeated. It looked like it was going to be a sweep there for a second. Like they were going to eliminate everyone. Uh, without getting eliminated, but the Juggernaut had some other plans in mind. However, at the end, it just, he, it was too much for him. It was too much, but he terminated Cage and Mew too. But uh, Team Gaston wins. And uh, congratulations to them. And up next, we have a very good match up next, guys. Um, we have a Fatal 4-Way. It's an elimination match, and basically the rules to this match is um, winner gets in the eight-man ladder match uh, at the pay-per-view. So winner of this match is subscriber, moderator, uh, Fatal 4-Way, uh, dedicated to the moderators. And here we go. And Brandon, we remember to change your pants for this week. And uh, we're already starting off. Of course, we got Ultimate War God, um, uh, Razor, the Ravishing Razorback, Justice Hound, and Brandon Styles, all moderators of this channel, all phenomenal people. That's why they're the moderators. Um, and here we go. And Justice Hound with a nice clothesline. Luke is doing some work on Ultimate War God. This is going far outside. And of course, guys, we're sorry that we didn't do No Mercy this week. Um, had some stuff come up uh, with Macau and stuff, and he ended up, he thought he was going to get it done, but he didn't. However, there's less work to do this weekend, so it's kind of good at the same time. But usually we don't skip out the weekend on episodes, um, but it was what it was. Or it is what it is, whatever. And uh, this week we should have a two-part uh, event. We're going to have a rumble on um, Friday, hopefully. Um, and that rumble is either going to be uh, Macau's favorite community creations, or it's going to be odds and ends. One of the one of the two. The problem with the odds and ends is they're not popular. If they if they haven't been on the rumble yet. They're, they're probably not popular characters. There, there's a few on here that are kind of popular, but you know, I don't know what where they're going to go with this. I really don't. Look at Brandon. Oh, kick to the head. I love that move. It's such a great move. 
And Brandon's going for the pin here. And a kick out by Justice Ham. And Brandon Styles with another nice move. And here we go. Justice Hound with the kick out. I don't know if this is a false count anywhere. I think one of these matches could be. I don't think this one is. Another kick out by Brandon Styles. Justice Hound going for the finisher on the Ravishing Razorback it is not looking good for him. And a kick out. Got the kick out though. And look here. Oh, look at Brandon. Amazing move. And uh, Brandon trying to kick the Razorback. And look at the Razorback. Oh, man, what a nice move. Yeah, uh oh. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I have an idea who's going to win this match. And look here, DDT locked in. Kick out by the Razorback. And Justice Hound's working on him. And he's going to try to put in a finisher on him now. Oh man, Brandon with the kicks. And uh oh, Justice Hound going after Razorback here. And another kick out by Razorback. And look at Brandon. Oh man. And Brandon going for the pin now. And a kick out by Ultimate War God. Uh-oh, watch out, Brandon. Oh, man. And uh-oh, oh my goodness. This is going to be nuts. Huh? Oh, man. Look here. The Razorback has lost his mind. And Brandon is going to go flying. Oh, my goodness. What a nice move there. And Ultimate War God's going to go for the pin on that one. And some, what, I don't know what happened there. And the Razorback caught off guard by Justice Hound. And, oh, look here. 
Look at the Razorback. Bam! And he's going for a pin, Raph. And uh, so is Ultimate War God. And the, the ref keeps on counting. And why did he kick? I don't know what's going on. The ref simultaneously counted. <laughs> he didn't take a, like a break in between, I don't think. And Ultimate War God, here he comes. Hey, I wouldn't be counting on Chuck Norris's head. That might not be a good idea, ref. You're pushing your buttons. Zeppelin's like tell th there's no I don't think this is a uh, this has to be this this has to be an elimination match but they're going after each other's uh, like every time they're trying to fight each other they're going after their pins they're going after everything it doesn't make sense it's a I thought it was an elimination match. Justice Hound just and finally gets an opponent. He's trying to get an opponent there and look at Ultimate War God with the DDT. And uh -oh, here comes the pin. And Ultimate War God has eliminated the ravishing Razorback. So it is an elimination match. So I don't understand why people were breaking each other's pins up and interfering with their moves and stuff. I I don't understand that. I guess I don't know. Maybe they got different. And we have three people left: Brandon, Ultimate War God, and Justice Hound. Oh man, look at Brandon! Oh man, that might have been a big mistake. Oh man, a kick to a kick to the head. And look at Brandon here. Oh man, what a move! What a move. Oh, oh, look here. Look at this. Brandon's got Ultimate War God caught, but he kicked out. And look here, a double team on Brandon. And now going for the panel on Brandon. Could this be the end of Styles? And yes, we're down to two. Ultimate War God versus Justice Hound. Only one of these men can win. And it looks like Justice Hound is taking advantage of Ultimate War God right after he got done with Brandon. And look here. And Justice Hound is victorious. He will be going to the eight-man ladder match. So tonight we'll be halfway there, guys. And Justice Hound victorious. I still think the best win was Warlock Supreme, for sure. That was one of the coolest victories yet. Oh, missed kick there. 
What a matchup. The Justice Hound is victorious. And up next, guys, is our other Fatal 4-Way match. We got Venom Spider, Vance, uh, Scorpion, and Jordan Point in this. Uh, it's Extreme Rules, dude. Extreme Rules in this matchup. And it should be really good. And here we go. We have four competitors here that have not... I don't think the, any of these guys have been on CTL yet, so uh, it's good to have them on. Vance, of course, uh, Venom Spider. Uh, I think Jordan points uh, press the button. I think that's uh, his YouTube name. And Scorpion's Hunter Kovacs. So shout outs to all of them. Um, they're getting their match now, and this will be a fatal four-way match. So I wonder how this is going to go. Are we already here's our three competitors so far. We have Justice Hound, we have Warlock Supreme, and we don't we have Don't Touch My Donuts in the eight man ladder match. The eight man ladder match. So there's a lot of competitors in that matchup. And look here. Oh man, what a move. Oh, Venom Spider just ate the pole. And guys, tonight, don't worry if you haven't seen yourself in, in this matchup. The main event is between eight subscribers. And it's going to be a battle royal elimination like uh, over the top rope. And uh, there will be eight more subscribers in tonight's episode. Um, and whoever wins that match will not get a ladder match for the CTL championship. But they will get a number one contendership with the McDonald's champion, Ronnie. So uh, that's going to be a very big match. And of course, uh, next week we'll do some tag team matches to determine a number one contender there. A lot going on. A lot going on. So um, don't forget to put your tag team name down uh, if you have not competed yet. Um, we're probably going to have two tag team matches next week. And then we are going to have um, uh, the number one contendership between the two winners of the two tag matches. So uh, if you have some tag teams you'd like to put down, we all, I already can tell you there will be some community creation tag teams. So uh, only a couple people are going to get chosen uh, in this matchup. And a kick out there by Jordan Point. And uh, Venom Spider's in trouble. Vance with another nice move. And a kick out by Venom Spider. No, here comes Scorpion. Look here. Bam! Oh, man, a punch to the head. And kick out by Vance. And uh-oh. 
Vance is going after Venom Spider. And nice move there. And here comes the pin. And a kick out there by Venom Spider. And a kick out there by uh, Jordan Point. Oh man, what a move. Oh man, oh that that was a bad land for Scorpion. Of course Scorpion green pants, Venom Spider black pants. Vance, red shirt, um, and Jordan Point has the Death Plague mask. I believe that's Jordan Point. And I, I, oh, kick out by Scorpion. Venom Spider, uh, kick out by Vance. And look at Jordan Point here, trying to uh, get the first elimination for tonight. We'll see if he does it. Kick out by Scorpion. A lot of kick outs. No pins. And Scorpion going for the pin here. Uh oh. And kick out by uh, Jordan Point. And look here. Oh, goodness. And uh-oh. Kick out there. Goodness gracious, enough with the kick outs. They can only take so much. And look there, nice move by Vance. And Vance is going for a finisher, Venom Spider is going for one. Of course, I think this has to be in the ring, so. And a kick out by Jordan Point. How am I not surprised? To be honest with you guys. And I, I'm Scorpion. Oh. Vance continues to do damage on Jordan Point. Look here. Scorpion. Look at this. This may have caught him off guard, but no. A kick out there. And look. Look here. What in the world? I don't know what kind of pin that was. That was an ugly pin. And look at Scorpion. Look at this. Oh, man. 
Nice move there. Oh, what a nice move by Scorpion. Taking it to him. And now going after Venom Spider, but look at Venom Spider. You can only do so much, and oh man, Scorpion just got hit with a big DDT. This might be the end. And a kick out. Oh man. Some harsh DDTs going around here, and Venom Spider, I believe this is a finisher, so... It is not looking good for Scorpion. He got hit with a signature and now a finisher. He got hit with some stuff earlier. Could this be it for him? Yep. Scorpion has been eliminated. But what a performance. What a performance by Scorpion. Advance. Oh, what a move. Dropping the Venom Spider on his back. So we're down to three in this matchup. And Venom Spider going for the pin here. And a kick out there. Oh my goodness. Vance is getting punished. Vance is getting hit from everywhere. He's trying to defend off his attackers. But it's just too much. Look at, uh, oh, what what in the world? They, they're just beating the tar out of Vance. And now, uh, looks like uh, Jordan Point wasn't happy with Venom Spider after he broke up his finisher, which I don't know why he did it. That is so dumb. I mean, if he puts the finisher in on Vance and pins him, he doesn't have a finisher, and you have, you're closer to one. So I don't, I don't know why you would do that, but... And look at Vance here. Uh-oh. Submission locked in. Will Venom Spider tap is the question. And no, uh, he will not tap out. He refuses. And Vance is going to try to put a finisher on him. And uh-oh. Here we go. Vance going for the pin here. Could this be it for the Venom Spider? And a kick out. And now he's locking in the finisher. The Jordan Point gets in the way. What in the world? How are you guys supposed to beat these guys? If oh my goodness. And everyone's just getting thrown everywhere. It's like, now everyone's going after Venom Spider. Just take turns, guys. Goodness. Patience is key. Patience is the greatest warrior's weapon. And uh, these guys have no patience. And, oh man, DDT right on the uh, lasagna. Oh my goodness. Someone's going to have sauce on their head when they get home. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Jordan Point. Now he's going for the pin. Could this be over for Vance? And a kick out. Look, oh, look here. Venom Spider sneaks a pin. And Jordan Point gets out of it. Goodness, enough with the kick outs already. And look at Venom Spider, though. Uh-oh. Finisher locked in. And he is going for the pin here. And he get, he get, Jordan points it. Uh, Jordan Point has been eliminated. And look at Venom Spider. He's going to give a double finisher. One to Vance now. Oh my goodness. And here he goes. And Venom Spider will be joining uh, the eight-man ladder match for the CTL Championship. What a performance. I think he got everyone. I think he got everyone. I'm not I'm I'm pretty sure he did. Um I'm not sure if he got Scorpion. I think he did. I think he did. So uh, what a performance. That's one of the best ones we've seen. Uh, two finishers in a row. He, he hit he hit uh, Jordan Point with one, and then he hit uh, Vance with one. What a night. I mean, he could have lost easily. He got lucky a couple times, I got to admit. Uh, but what an awesome victory for him. He's going to go to the eight-man ladder match. And now it is time for the eight-man battle royal to determine who will face Ronnie. At the pay-per-view, we got Restless Rise, we got Mermaid Cena, we got Jay Glenn, we got Dan the Man, we got Alexander Rodriguez, Gangster Tavin, uh, the, that one big dude that I, I keep on forgetting his name, um, and Juan Cena, uh, King Sombra is his name, and here we go, we're going wide open already, they want that McDonald's, you can already tell. They want it and they want it now. Goodness gracious. Restless with the first elimination. Jay Glenn has been eliminated. And we're down to seven already. Man, they're going wide open. <laughs> they're not playing. Uh, what a match. And Juan Cena looks like he's in trouble. And, uh... By the way, guys, these these eight men, even though they haven't been in a, uh... In a, uh... uh, uh what, what is it called? A, a, a Fatal 4-Way? They will get their shot at the Fatal 4-Way as well. If, now, if they win, I don't know if we're gonna do give them a Fatal 4-Way. <laughs> Whoever wins. So... Yeah, because there'll be two matches, so... I'm not for sure if we'll give them the Fatal 4-Way if they win the match. But I'm sure they're fine with uh, having a number one contendership to themselves. So that's better than having, a you know, an eight-man ladder match. And uh-oh, here comes Alexander trying to get the elimination on Dan the Man. Dan Stock. And a uh, bunch of great subscribers here. Oh man, King Sombra. And here comes Mermaid Cena trying to get rid of Juan Cena. This is a good matchup. Two Cenas in one ring. And Juan's in trouble. And Juan is not the superior Cena. Juan has been eliminated. We're down to six. And Dan going after King Sombra here. And uh-oh, Dan's in trouble, but no one's there to knock him out. It's an easy elimination, uh, but someone got a hold of somebody else, so no elimination there.
And look at Jordan Point. Oh, man. And Mermaid Tina going to work. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man, what a punch by Keen Sombra. Oh, man, another punch. Kick to the gut. Everyone, I, I can't even tell what's going on. And Jordan Points got restless on the uh, top rope. And uh -oh. oh man, still no eliminations ever since Juan Cena. We're still at six. And Rise could be in trouble. Gangster Tavin. Uh oh. Gangster Tavin. And Rise is done. And King Sombra's been eliminated. I didn't catch that one. He got eliminated in the process. I didn't even see him get eliminated. Wow. I don't know who did it. Uh, we're down to four, though. And Gangster Tavin going crazy on Mermaid Cena. What a nice move. Uh-oh, but Dan's right behind him. Oh, man. Oh, that's not going to work. And the gangster is sta standing strong. And uh-oh, Dan is done. And Mermaid Cena is done. We're down to two. It's Gangster Tavin versus Alexander Rodriguez. And what a power slam by Gangster Tavin. And Dan and uh, Cena Mermaid eliminated. What a great performance by them, though. They put up a good one. We are down to two. And five-knuckle shuffle. Only one of these guys will make it out. Oh man, elbow drop on Gangster Tavin. And look here, DDT on Gangster Tavin. And Alexander Rodriguez will face Ronnie. What a performance by him. And Gangster Tavin was going crazy, but in the end, I think he, he got burned out. I, I, I think that's what happened. He got burned out at the end. He was I, I thought he would win this matchup. Uh, Alexander took advantage of how uh, much he uh, looked there. Well, that probably ticked him off. And, um, yeah. Alexander wins. And Ronnie will come down in the ring to congratulate him. And, uh, wow. Good sportsmanship there. And he's about to come any second. And, uh... Here comes Ronnie, the McDonald's United States Champion. And he is going to congratulate 
Alexander Rodriguez on his victory tonight. And, um, wow. This is good sportsmanship. It's pure good sportsmanship by Ronnie. Um, we'll see what happens here. We'll see if Alexander has the same sportsmanship. And there's your McDonald's United States champion. One and in. He had one in eight ma uh, chances of winning that match, and he did it. It's possible, guys. It is possible. Anything is possible. I just want to say, Ronnie, I wish the best for you in our match at the pay-per-view. You're a great competitor, and I think you and I will have a wonderful match together. That being said, I'm going to win this week, and I just wanted to let you know that, Ronnie. That's fair, Alexander, and what a great performance that you had tonight. You put up a good fight against some of the best, that is for sure. But at the pay-per-view, what in the world? What? What is this? Uh, what? Big Baby's already been taken down tonight. What in the world? And Ronnie gets interrupted by this intruder. By the way, this guy's not on the roster. There's only one baby on the roster, and that's Big Baby. What in the world is this? The heck? Just, just when you thought it was going to be peaceful sportsmanship, this happens. I thought, I, you know, we were all expecting Alexander maybe strike Ronnie or something like that. He showed nothing but respect. But, uh, what in the heck is this? Glorious? I, I, I don't get what's going on here. I, I don't. What in the world is this? And the lights just went out, ladies and gentlemen. What in the world? And, and, and look here! There's another one! It's Boss Baby! Attacks Ronnie! What in the world is this? It's like a baby invasion or something on this channel. Oh my goodness, we saw Baby Road, and oh, and oh my goodness, it's like a Thanos baby. Oh man, Alexander's in big trouble. So, oh, call the law. Oh my goodness, we're ending on this. Oh my.